Welcome back to Scorn. We have one of these little maze puzzles, and I feel like we need two more. Because moving this one around didn't seem to do anything, and I believe I haven't explored down this pathway. So let's just go check. I hear something walking. No, wait. Not walking, that's just the sound of these tendrils. I think. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a new tool, isn't it? Maybe this uses the larger rounds we've seen in those round dispensers. Does it come with anything? No. Yeah, it looks like, based on the bottom right, it only holds three rounds in the active... Uh... Magazine? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> this thing really doesn't use magazines, but... Yeah. And judging by the crosshair, I think this is something akin to a shotgun? I like that slight... This is just a little, like, UI thing, but I like the slight bounce to the crosshairs when they come in and come out. Slight bit of instability. So, number one is this pneumatic thing. Number two is our... I'll just call it a pistol. And number three is our... shotgun, maybe. Ooh! Oh, you have rounds for both! <laughs> it's so cool. It's just... Ah, oh, I love all the thought they've put into these bizarre mechanisms. And I love our third hand is holding it up for us. Thank you so much. They're so kind. Okay, I really don't want to test fire this thing because of how limited ammo is. I think we only have three dots on our thingy, right? Yeah, we need one more to be able to open that. I think there's another door we've seen that also takes four. Although that could be the same door from the other side, I don't really remember. Okay. Okay, let's try this out. Whoa! Okay, that body freaked out. <laughs> but yes, this is something akin to a shotgun. Ah. Oh my god, relax. Feeling like Dark Souls 2. Remember those bodies? What is this? Oh. It's an elevator. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Okay, let's go back to our pistol. I don't think we need to use it on smaller ones like that. Plus, we have a lot of ammo for this thing. Now, this is just to pull it up to our level if it happens to be on a different level. Uh, hi. Sorry. need to explore this place properly, though, so I think I need to take it out. Let's try the pistol. Oh, 
Oh, hi. Oh, there's more. Well, that's most of my ammo. I almost want to go back for pistol rounds. Ah, that should be fine. Let's heal. That's another four dot door. Oh, that's going to upgrade our thing to four dots. Oh, I can open that now. Yeah, this is another one of these things I can drop. So yeah, I do need all three. Or... Oh, I guess that one needed to be raised, actually. And there's the last one over there. Ugh, all the blood just raining down from there from that large creature. Poor thing. Well, if that's that side, maybe there's one this side? Maybe it's symmetrical? No, not really. Control panels are all only on the other side. Well, this is where we got this new tool. Let's load up on some more ammo. Wait, I thought... Oh, I thought we didn't take all the smaller rounds, but we did. Then we're quite low on ammo. But yeah, there's also a door here we can open. To save some ammo here. These things aren't too bad. Oh, wait. Oh, it's going away. Oh. I thought for sure it aggroed on me. Nice, warm, wet hole. Moist. Oh, this will open this up as a shortcut, I think. This is the place where I couldn't open it from the other side at all. Yeah, it's a shortcut. Oh no, I think we have to cut it open in another place. So we gotta go. F Whoa! We gotta go find the controls. Mm. I 
think we have to kill this. Well, okay. Hold on. Let's see where it goes. If it stops here, then I have to kill it. If it goes all the way into the back of that, like, cubby over there, then maybe I don't. Hmm? Okay, no, we have to kill it. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I think we're fine. Is a little chicken baby. Okay, I don't want to look for this one. Oh wait, do I have to? Please let me look away. Look at all those little babies. They look like peanuts in the shell. God, I wish it would just die already so it doesn't have to suffer like this. Because I feel like these wounds are going to be mortal anyway, for sure. Oh no. Oh no. Let's try to save ammo. I think I'll be okay. device. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. I was trying to save ammo, but I should have just went for it. Just shot him. Okay, if I go fast enough and just shoot the one that's in front of me, maybe I can outrun the one behind me. And I only have to use ammo on one. Another big one. Well, there's a lot of big ones. Oh no. Well, 
Well, there goes almost all the shotgun ammo that we got. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay, well, I still come out ahead with the pistol ammo, at least. I did fire the shotgun around, didn't I? Yeah, none of that left. You know, I have no idea what I'm actually doing. Like, once I solve those puzzles, as I presume they are, what happens then? I assume something even more horrific to the giant creature. So, right, it's all controlled from here, but we can spin this thing around. So wherever I move it, they all move to that. How does... Are the mazes any different, if you can call them mazes? They are. So wait. Like, I assume I'm supposed to get into that... ...thing. The thing just above the, the white circle. The, I don't know, the orange circle. I can't go from this way. It kind of looks like it has a little cut out of it on the... Uh, upper side of the orange circle, so maybe I'm supposed to get it from there, but how? If you look at the maze there, there's no way to enter the maze. It's not really a maze at all. And if these are different, can they get out of sync? If the mazes are different, you know, like bottom left, is it going to be in the bottom left for all of them? Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I think I might have an idea of how this works. Okay, look at this one. See, I can't... I can't get the, the white thing to the right. That section is completely inaccessible from this one. But it's not inaccessible from all of them. So if I switch to... See, this one can't get there either. But this one... Can. Does that mean it's now going to be in there? Yes! Oh, this is such a cool puzzle. Okay, so which one has access on the top? This one. So it must be accessed from that one little offshoot square. How would I get to that square? This one has access to that square, and this one has access to that square. So let's just try to get this up. Upper to the right, upper to the right. How about that? Hmm. And there we go! Oh, that's a really cool puzzle! Now, what did I just do? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh god, yeah, it's dead. Holy shit. Oh, fucking hell. 
it's attached to this thing and the whole thing is a freaking elevator. Oh, when we reach the top, is it, uh, it depends if it's a closed top, but I feel like it's going to smash into whatever the top is. No. Mm. Oh. oh, Jesus. Uh. Oh, poor thing. Oh, I heard a slight noise. Please, please, just be dead. Oh no, it's still alive. Hmm. Can see a little part of it. Is there no way I can? Get a better view of it? Like, I want to see if I can put it out of its misery. I doubt any shot from any of my tools would really do any serious damage to it. Because of how big it is, but still. Oh, God. Just hearing it moan in the distance is horrible. Yeah, it's covered. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> hey, friend. How's it going? Oh god, ew, oh. More tendrils. This is body horror to the max. The art direction with this is incredible. I think the first time we've moved to an entirely different building. I think previously we've all been inside that one, like, main building, or just outside of it. Dang. Whole pussy just kind of out of the world. Pussy first.
Some parts of it, it's hard to tell if it, it's fallen apart or if it was designed like that. On purpose. Originally. There's, <laughs> there's so much like phallic imagery and sexual imagery. I mean, look at this. Look at this person with a massive cock. They are proud of their strap on. Is that glow painted on? Or is there actually some sort of a light inside of it? I wonder. I think these are actually more than just statues. If you look around, they have a bunch of, I think, pods. Like the pods we saw with those um, red, well, testicle-looking things. <laughs> I think that's what they are. I think this is just a really stylized, like, incubator. But yeah, I, the other place was the factory, and this I don't think is the factory. I think this might be more where the f factory, like, owners and managers lived. Or maybe where they worked from, or something. and scalpels and saws finger blades wait those are flesh Flesh humanoids, kind of like me. Well, they're looking a bit less like me than I was at the, the start of all this, but... but they're all connected to this this stuff. This it almost looks like brain matter of some sort. And in fact, the connection is going out of their foreheads. Is that some sort of hive mind thing? Okay, that goes somewhere. If there's one thing I'm sure about, it's that this civilization loved to suck and fuck. And you know what? I do too. Maybe not quite like this though. Oh, this weird, like, infinity effect from this, it's just... It kind of hurts my eyes, it's weird.
some sort of a control panel down there. wrecked. Maybe the other side's better. Wait, what's further down? Oh! Jesus! Fuck! That scared the hell out of me! Okay, it's like a foot pedal, except a body pedal. Pressure plate, I guess. What is... Ah. It opens a screen? Well, there's two, like, tracts. This one seems to be empty. This one has something on it. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, shoot it to unlink it, but I have no idea. I'm not going to do that when I don't know what's even going on at all. What is... What is that? Is this another tool? I can't seem to take it though. Do I need a different tool to use this machine? Doesn't seem like it. What's this do? Yeah, I think you should have expected that at this at this point, my dude. No oh, fucking hell. What did that just do? Other than make me bleed horribly. Wait, can I use it? No, no, you <laughs> You can use it again? I didn't think it would really let me. I was just curious, like, what that would do. It just hurts more. Oh my god, I'm covered in so much blood. Now can I use this thing? No, I, I have no idea what that just did. Like, why does this thing look like it? No, it is. This, <laughs> this, oh God, Jesus Christ. I didn't notice this before. This is not just a tool that I'm looking at. This is like a person or a humanoid of some sort, a creature. I thought like that, those look like hands. And then I realized, wait, that's an ass right there. And then I realized, wait, that's a fucking head right there. This is, this is the back of a creature. I, I don't know what I'm even supposed to do with that. I have zero inkling on what I'm meant to do with that. Hmm. What is that? I wonder if that can go inside of the back of this person. <laughs> nope. That has nothing to do with it. I'm happy with the fact that we haven't seen any creatures yet. What's this thing?
Oh. It's a key, basically. What the fuck? Why were they just collecting legs? Like, this feels like a serial killer's den. Oh no. It's another one. But this time it's the chest cavity. What in the hell? I don't want to assemble these people. Ugh. Were they playing with piles of body parts and just like mixing and match, matching them or something? Building creatures. That looks similar to what the key looked like. That kind of reddish, purplish color. Might be related to those keys. Mm. Oh. It's a holding vessel for a head or something? It seems to be alive. Or maybe just floating around in goo. Do these look any different? No, they look the same as far as I can tell. Yeah, I think I want some ammo before I mess with these things, because I have a feeling I'm going to be making these things come to life. And I have a feeling they're not going to be too happy about that. Okay, so there's more pistol left. I think it might already be full. Oh no, it's missing one. Come with me, friend. <laughs> 